wanted to introduce you to uh, a new product that I've created. Uh, basically what it is, is, is it's stainless steel chainmail, very high quality, but it's been created specifically to act like reusable tinfoil. Primarily it was created to rest and relax your roast without it losing its heat. The actual benefits um, have then gone on from that. You can actually cook with it from first principles. So what you can do is you can just cover your roast. It allows you to brown and crisp and caramelise your roast, but it's a single step application. What you find is if you use tin foil, you have to tend to tin foil, you have to ba you know, you can't baste through tin foil, so obviously you have to take off the, the tin foil to baste. It's becoming very popular in carveries, you know, as a hygienic blanket. Um, there's more, it's a semi-barrier, so it acts as a, a moisture retention barrier, and so it reduces shrinkage. It also, because of the weight of the product, it allows you to have a more um, uniform portion control. And also because of the, the resting process, it allows much easier carving. And so the whole, you know, the whole product is a very, very simple product, but it's very effective in, in its simplicity. So I yeah. think I possibly have... You're done. It's a simple concept that Helen Waterston has brought to the idea works. Compass's UK executive chef Nick Vadis has his questions lined up. But there is one comment from Helen that all the panel are eager to follow up on. Start. No, I'm going to go first, Chef. Because I uh, just before I forget, because you mentioned portion control. Yes. I, I just didn't understand how this was going to help me with portion control. Right. Well, normally when if you're doing lamb, especially rolled lamb, uh, rolled pork, it and the the weight of the product, it tends to stop it from springing during the cooking process. So what you tend to have is is a sort of much better, more uniform. Um, okay. cooking process. My worry with these things is I'm trying to picture them in, in units in use, across yep. our business and absolutely get this in a, in a sort of like a domestic sense Yes. Uh, as a one-off but I just can't vision a chef in a huge unit putting blankets all over his meat and sticking it in the oven and then how do you wash them? Right, well I mean the, the, the washing process is the dishwasher proof or in a general purpose wash just in a, a you know a Basin of warm soapy water. The, the would, you, would you put it in like like that? Because that's what I'm. Well, I'm I think it, it yeah. depends on what you've been cooking or roasting. I mean, if it is is very fatty, yeah. then obviously yeah. you're going to have to stretch it out. And there's no issues with this from a safety perspective. Absolutely I'm not. not. Talking it's actually back of house. I'm talking about a ring ending up in a piece of meat. Uh, no, because it's actually the the product itself is used in the meat the meat processing industry. So that's actually what it's, at, it's for. It's used in abattoirs. It's used for, uh, you know, the anti-cut, the anti-cut gloves, gloves, gloves and yeah. the boleros and the aprons. <coughs> so it's actually already mm. been in the food industry for many, many years. I guess the bit that I'm struggling with a little bit is what's. I don't know what the problem that it's solving is. I mean, I guess it's it's it's, it's basically an environmental product. The removal of foil. It's, 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 it's the removal of foil. It's trying to become sort of like more environmentally friendly with very simple <coughs> solutions. You, you need to We've see kind it, of got you? four half problems because it, Is it one could one? In, improve the quality of the meat a bit possibly, might help us with portion control, almost certainly will help us with um, the uh, environmental, the piece. environmental piece. But they're all kind of so... Uh, Mini questions. Yeah. Shall we vote? Yeah. Right now, I'm sceptical because I just think They'll end up in the bin, they won't get washed properly, they'll get lost. They'll be screwed up in a ball in the corner of a kitchen uh, and people will revert back to foil because you're not going to take foil out of the kitchen with this. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to do a trial. I definitely think that we should take the opportunity to trial it in a, a real life situation in mm -hmm. our kitchen and, and, and see whether we can answer those four mini questions mm -hmm. that we've still got in the back of our minds. Yeah, I'd, I'd be in the same place. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure of how it will get used, but I think it's got to be worth a look. For a road yeah. test, yeah. yeah. Do you want to keep it to play with as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a slinky when you were a kid? I, no, mine broke. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling... Yeah. Yeah. With a product that shows potential, Helen is spared a roasting in the lair. 
The Roast Cozy's widespread implementation will be based on the success of a trial. 